Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing a collective haul. Uh, let's go! I started out asking people what they got for Christmas. Almost every girl in my life who I asked, Stacy, Michelle, my cousin, my neighbor, like everyone said coloring books. I'm like, what? Like, it was just so random to me. And then she showed me, I'm like, Girl, that's the most amazing coloring book I've ever seen. She goes, yeah, they're like big kid coloring books. I'm like, <gasps> I love coloring and I have coloring books like Hello Kitty coloring books and Cinderella coloring books. Even though you can be all ages to do anything, you don't have to be a certain age to color, like come on. And then I asked Michelle, she's like, oh yeah, these are my coloring books. And then her roommate had them. Like everyone has these. So then I, ha I went on a look and a hunt and I found them and they're actually like super trendy right now, which I don't care about you guys, I don't care about trends, but like they were everywhere and they're like the hottest thing. So I was super pumped because I wanted them. So they are like big kid coloring books. The first one that I got is called the Time Chamber. I got these just at Kohl's, which is one of my local bookstores. They have all these different, like this, they have anything you could think of. That's the one I think I'm gonna do next. Stunning. Um, in here, if you guys can see, if you guys have the one I have, I've ripped out a few pages in here and colored them on my own because what I like to do personally with these is rip out the page and then color it on like um, a clipboard and then put it into my journal because my journal is like bay and that's how I keep everything. And then the other one I got is the Lost Ocean and they're $15 each. This one is beautiful. So it has a bunch of like ocean creatures and seashells and just beautiful. Like I was, bleh, I'm, I'm so excited. So I've colored about three pages in here and stuck them in my journal. Okay, that was like 25 minutes explaining coloring books. I'm sorry. Next, I went to Sephora. Okay, I got two replacement items and then I got two highlighting items. So the replacement item is this Makeup Forever powder. It's a pro finish powder. My favorite powder, it's in 117. If you guys saw my yearly favorites video, it's in there more in detail, but basically this is my favorite powder of all time. I need a replacement of it. The thing just fell out, which I don't use that anyway, so that's okay. Beautiful powder, you can use it on its own or you can put it over top of your makeup or foundation when it's done. Heart this so much. Okay, so I needed a replacement of my Kat Von D tattoo liner and they were sold out of that but they had the ink liner and I've tried so many things from Kat Von D so I don't remember if I've tried the ink liner before I may have um, it's in the exact same color in trooper that I usually get um, it really when I opened it I didn't see much of a difference it's probably gonna be amazing because I love Kat Von D but I really need to replace it on my eyeliner because I've just been doing um eyeshadow for my eyeliner. And then I got two highlighting products because I've been obsessed with like highlighting, watching highlighting tutorials. A Becca product that I've been eyeing for a few times and doing my research. And it's a shimmering skin perfector pressed. And I got the shade Opal. Opal. And I didn't like the packaging at all. And people were like raving about the packaging. I'm like, it it looks like a button for my sweater, like oversized button for my sweater. I don't know, it's just like, ew, like the packaging is not nice, but the color, oh, beautiful. It's what's on the inside that counts. So it's this primer and, well, no, it's not, it's not a problem. Well, you could probably prime your face with this and you'd be all shimmery all over. Actually, it would probably all fall off. I don't know. No, it feels just not. It looks like that. It's super shiny even on the packaging and you can wear it, you know, on your cheekbones or whatever. I'm gonna like love this. I feel like I'm gonna use this up in like four days because it's just stunning and shimmering and there was tons of different colors of it and I thought that opal was my favorite one. When I went into Sephora, there was a whole shelf dedicated to the High Beam by Benefit. I've never tried High Beam by Benefit. It looks like a nail polish. I picked it up, I'm like, ooh, I'm so excited for this. My mom's like, that's such a nice nail polish color. She starts putting on her nail polish. I was like, no! Luminescent Complexion Enhancer. So basically, you can put this wherever you want. I've seen people after their foundation put it on like their nose and their cheekbones and their whatever thing. I'm the worst at highlighting and contouring, but hey, it'll catch the light and make you luminous. Okay, so then I went to a different bookstore because I wanted the Amy 27 and there was only one bookstore in my city that had it for sale in stock. So I went there as well and I got it. It looks like this. So it's called Amy 27, Amy Winehouse and the 27 Club and there's a bunch of other names 
of famous people who are in the 27 Club. And if you do not know what the 27 Club is, it's basically um, celebrities who have all died at the age of 27, so they are in the 27 Club. This book is just not about her, it's about a ton of other people like Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, um, yeah, so lots of other people, Jim Morrison, and because Amy was in it, I had to buy it, and she's so beautiful. I also bought some pencil crayons for my newfound love of big kid coloring books. $16 for this, I was like, girl, what? Oh well, they were like pretty colors, they were already sharpened, and there was a whole array of the rainbows, so I bought it. I went to Dutch Growers on Christmas Eve, and I bought this. And the reason why I went to Dutch Growers was because my dad, if you guys watch the vlog channel, he's like newly obsessed with plants and gardening and all that jazz. Don't ask, I don't know. So I went there and I bought him a bunch of like tools and gardening and plants and stuff. And then I'm like, what the heck? There's like a whole fashion section. There was like boots and clothes and bags. I could not pass this up. Like, mm. so this was in the jewelry section. It's a rainbow that's upside down necklace. Like, you guys know I had to buy this. Like, I am a Care Bear inside, so I had to buy that. And it's like stunning. $15.99, and as soon as we got to the car, I'm like, it's already breaking. It's already lifting right here. See, I can like put my nail in it. I can probably just crazy glue it down or something, but whatever, I parted it. Okay, then today I went to the mall and I got three MAC items. I was going there specifically for this MAC item first, and this is a Pro Longwear Concealer. I've been kind of obsessed with my under eyes lately. I don't know if you guys have been seeing a difference in like the brightness of them. I hope so, because a lot of people approximately like four months ago were telling me like like girl you need to do something about your under eyes some people are being nice some people are being like hate us but i was noticing it myself too so that's when i took a closer look at them i'm like oh my god i found like everyone is obsessed with the mac pro long wear concealer i feel like a legit beauty guru now by saying this and holding this just kidding and i'm horrible with choosing my foundation or concealer color so they chose this for me so if this doesn't work don't even blame me and it's oh i should tell you what it is it's nc15 i feel like i'm so light but it's a little squeezy tube and it's a tiny little thing i think this was like 40 dollars. so i hope i enjoy it i've heard some people break out with this but apparently this is like the best concealer on the market so and I just dropped it. We're gonna pray that it's, um, it's still alive. And then when I was there, I'm like, yeah, yeah, don't even buy anything because I like have everything from MAC. And then they came out with a new collection that day. She's like, there's a new collection that came out just today. I'm like, they are the Rachel Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This is what it looked like. And I'm like, I thought that they ran out of the lipstick or the lip gloss is lids and they just put the lipstick on there I was like what the heck and she said no because it's a liquid lipstick it's a lipstick and lip gloss combined so that's why that's from the actual back packaging I'm like ah. so this is the first one that I got this is in divine divine and there's only three of these left at my Mac so I scooped it up and it looks like that it's a beautiful like tea rose kind of pink color love that and um apparently they last like all day and they don't give you that gloss they go on as a gloss and then they kind of like fade right or not fade dry right away to like a, a lipstick consistency and i noticed that because this one right here is the one that i'm wearing today and i've had it on for about like an hour and it's amazing so far and it looks like this this is the packaging it's like a nudie darker nude and this one is in lady be good so so far these are amazing i got the two like best colors ever okay so the very last place in this haul is plato's closet the very first shirt that i got looks like this. This looks almost brand new and it's by Topshop, like so. And I love me some Topshop and it's very good quality. It has this amazing print on it. It's kind of croppied a little there. And this was $7. That's a steal. I got a True Religion shirt. You really gotta search and hunt if you're going to a thrift store. Um, just look through. Cause I've seen some people be like, oh, there's nothing I like here. It's like, you didn't even look. It's so sparkly and I love getting like um things that have sequins on them second hand because then you, you know that they're not gonna all fall off when you wash them because clearly somebody had these and washed them previously this one was 10 bucks that's a great great price for true religion and then lastly it was kind of a random one um looks like that it's like that's how it is flipped off like that so i have to iron it and then it kind of sucks and then here they're like all flipped up there too and this side has them all there and this side only has like two 
So I'm just gonna say that, you know, that's how it's meant to be and it's like rustic and high fashion, even though it's probably just like falling apart and ripped. But I loved it, like I don't know why, I just loved how it was like high in there and then it ties right here. So it would look super cute in the summer with like shorts and like little tiny boots, like little ones. Oh my god! And this one was $6, so it was a good price. And that's everything that I got. Oh, that one was Streetwear Society brand for those who are wondering. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I love you guys oh so much and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys, have a good weekend.